Yo, what's up guys, it's First Space, and today I'm going to be talking about the monster trio individually having kings or conquerors high. Now, this is going to be a quick video, not really in-depth, but I, I do want to get a couple of points across. Now, I've always believed things like Ashur and Diablo Jamba were hockey bait, but after seeing what Big Mom was doing it with her powers, I'm starting to believe these abilities may be conquerors or kings hockey. From what we know so far, Sanji's Diablo Jambe and Zoro's uh, Ashura or powers are mysterious, so like, they just came out of nowhere also how luffy is capable of adding you know uh, fire effects to his attack we look at ornament and we look at observation we know for a fact that these these hockey types can produce uh something like that the only thing that's left now is king's hockey and king's hockey is something we're also in the dark but if anything king's hockey would be the one that would most likely correlate to things like ashura and diablo jumping now personally i feel like there's more applications to king's hockey if there's one i should mention it would be that king's hockey I feel like they have their own their own uh, spiritual manifestation like Jabu Jambi and Ashura. If we go back, if we go back to what Pound said about Big Mom Zeus and Prometheus, basically what he said was that they were the physical manifestation of their spirit. I mean, they're they're called Prometheus and Zeus for that shows that these homies aren't regular. They're if they were regular, they would be called homies. But these guys are called uh, Zeus and Prometheus. Now another scene that was uh, quite shocking was when Big Mom took the lifespan of her son she displayed abilities of lightning and fire without the use of the zeus and prometheus basically she was just creating lightning with her blows so big mom's basic spiritual manifestation is fire and lightning now the thing with big mom is she takes it a step further with her devil fruit we know big mom has a soul soul fruit and is capable of giving uh objects life even elements Personally, this is what I think Big Mom is doing. She has her own spiritual manifestation. But not only that, she brings those spiritual manifestations into life. That shows how versatile Big Mom's powers are. For example, if Zoro and Big Mom, if Zoro and Sanji had Big Mom's power, it won't be like their bodies would be mixed with the spirit, but the spirit itself would have its own consciousness. They would literally have a homie Ashura and a homie, uh, homie Diablo jumping, fighting alongside them. So yeah, Big Mom is mixing her devil fruit with her spiritual manifestation manifestation and personally i feel like that's like a combination of king's hockey and devil fruit okay so let's go back to the monster trio luffy we know that he has king's hockey that was confirmed you know sonic dragon garb if anything luffy has not displayed his own spiritual manifestation yet. the only thing that comes close is when he the red hawk like the red hawk is the only thing that came close like how his hand ignited uh during uh, the fight with uh horny if anything of luffy i feel like he's still holding some stuff back uh i i don't i definitely think we're gonna see if gear fifth has to do anything with conquerors i do feel like it has to some, something to do with kings so we might see his own spiritual manifestation a lot of people saying Tom Wong kong you've seen one world's theory he said Tom Wong kong is like luffy's spiritual manifestation it might be something close to that but yeah we can definitely expect more from luffy zora now the main reason i say zora has kings is because of the parallels that we've seen between him and Rayleigh, both having an eye scar, both swordsmen, and both being uh, first mates to their respective captains. Also, there's many, there's many scenes we've seen where Zoro intimidates people without actually fighting them like the one at Sabodi with the bandits and the whole thing with Zoro and Mune and um, but we also have to recognize that Zoro's goal is to become the strongest of all swordsmen in the world so essentially he's become like the king of swordsmen so yeah Zoro I can definitely see him having conquerors like Zoro he, he's conquerors might awaken late maybe later down the line perhaps alongside Sanji because those two they usually get power-ups at the same time like uh and yes lobby like this there's the monster trio in general but if so if Luffy gets a power Zoro and Sanji will have a power up as well. Now Sanji, a lot of people don't think Sanji will have one, but I personally feel like he has a good chance. First, his lineage, like he's coming, he comes from a family of assassins, and his father is a is the head or a king of a like a mythical army, Jeffrey 66. But we know rulers who are usually fighters have conquerors hockey. For example, uh, Han Hancock and Dofi. Hancock and Dofi will be prime examples. Also, the fact that he was once known as a Garuda, again with the themes of mythical legends or creatures. 
the Gorgon sisters, Medusa, Zeus, Prometheus, Diablo Jambe, Asher, all these things allude to like godlike or like mythical figures like in, mi in mythology. So this could allude to these characters having their own spiritual manifestation. But you guys might think uh, there might be too many people on the Straw Hat crew that has conquerors. We know that Roger, being a king himself, had a king serving under him. Uh, Luffy, who will surpass Roger? Being a greater king than Roger. So him having two kings uh hockey users under him isn't too far-fetched if anything that shows how great of a person luffy would be at the end of the season and that would show luffy has surpassed roger but anyways guys this is probably my last video of 2016 like share comment down below it's pharaoh and peace out